Hi, this is Cheryl Ross with Take the Lead Dog Training, and today I want to show you guys um, a little, some of the functions of your new Easy Educator. This is the Easy 900, and this is a one dog system, um, but it does have the capability of turning into a two dog system if you choose to upgrade it. Um, so I'll just show you some of the basic functions. First of all, I'm going to show you an accessory because it's my favorite thing ever. These are two magnets and this little plate on the back of the handset, they stick to it. And what you can do is pull the magnets apart and put it on like uh, your jeans or a shirt or something and you just sandwich them together and then your remote can stick pretty much wherever is comfortable for you for the functioning of it. Um, I use it all the time. So I'm just going to put these out to the side now, but I had to show you that. I think they're like 25 bucks. You can buy them um, separately from the unit. Uh, if you use this a lot, it's definitely worth the investment because then you can be hands-free and it can be right where you want it, whether it's on your purse or anything, and then you can just reach down and push the buttons that you need to push. So I really like it. Um, moving on to how to operate your collar. So um, this is turned off right now and I'll show you how to turn it on. On the back of your handset, there's a little red dot and on the side of the box on the collar, there's another red dot. You touch those together and they pair together and then your little light will blink green every few seconds to let you know it's on and charged. This light will blink red when it's um, dying and needs to be plugged in. Um, but how you turn it on is also how you turn it off. So you would just pair them together again and it'll blink red once and then turn off and now you're off and saving battery. So I'm gonna turn it back on. And that's how you turn the collar on, the handset itself has its own on off button. So um, there's a few buttons on here, we'll cover all of them, but on the side here you can see it says on off. So if I push that button and hold it, your LCD screen lights up. So now we're on and ready to talk about your functions. So one of the things I really like about this model is um, these buttons can be changed to whatever you want. So they have the tone feature, oops, that's the vibration. So they have vibration feature, tone and then um, two stems so it's the momentary and continuous and let's say um, for me actually it comes programmed to where this button is your vibration and this button is your tone and then these are your stem buttons personally how it fits in my hand um, I don't like having the stem buttons on the side because I end up pushing one of the on off buttons or something so I can switch them to be on the front which is fantastic so I will show you how to do that. Um, on the side here where your on off button is, right above is the program button. It has a P on it, which stands for program. And all you have to do is turn your dial to zero, so your level's on zero, and you hold your program button down while you choose, I'm gonna select this button, and I'm gonna turn it. You can see the little symbols changing here from M to C, and so I want this one to be M for momentary, and then I just let go, and now if I push it, that's now my momentary button. All of the other symbols go away. So now this one, which is set for tone, I want this one to be my continuous, so I'm gonna hold down the program button, and just tap this button until it gets to the continuous setting, and then I can let go. And now, oops, that's another feature for another time. We'll show you this, so now, it is my continuous button. Um, and so now I have both, I have two buttons set for momentary and two buttons set for continuous. So I do want one of these to be my tone and one of them to be my pager. So again, I'm gonna hold the program button down and just tap the button that I want to change. Oops, I forgot, you have to have it set to zero. There we go. So I hold it and tap to change it. We'll make the top one the vibration and then I'll let go. So now that's my vibration mode. And then I'm gonna hold the program button again and tap this button and change it to my tone. And then I can let go. Now that one's the tone. So now this one is my momentary. This one is my continuous. Except I have to turn it up. Continuous, momentary, and pager, and tone. So I really like the features that you can change the buttons to whatever is comfortable for you, whatever fits in your hand. Um, and that's been really fantastic because now I can just tap those whenever I need those. Um, this has another really cool feature called Boost. 
and so I'll set this on level 10. So let's say, um, well, we'll go level 5. Okay, so let's say my dog normally works on level 5, and uh, we go to the dog park, and all of a sudden 5 is so low, he can't feel it because he's amped up. So what I can do at a moment's notice, if I need to hit the momentary button, I can hit momentary and continuous, and it's going to boost it up to 10. So this comes with an automatic boost, which is five levels. Now you can change um, how many levels it will boost um, if you set it to zero and you hold your momentary button for a few seconds. And then all of a sudden, you'll see it's got this little M plus, C plus. This is your boost mode. So you can change your dial now to however many levels you want it to boost. So let's say I want it to boost, instead of 5, we'll put it at 15. So I set it to 15, and now anytime I want to boost something, it's going to boost it 15 levels. So then I'll just hit my momentary button again, and now it's out of boost programming mode. Um, so again, all I had to do was turn my dial to zero, hold my momentary button for several seconds until the light came on with the, the boost mode, and then I adjust how many levels I want it to boost, and then I hit momentary again. Um, so now if I'm on, let's say, level 10, and my dog is running around and I need to boost it, so I can go hit momentary, which would automatically do number 10, but then I hit my boost, and it'll boost it that 15 levels to 25, which is pretty great. You can also do it with continuous mode, so that was momentary mode. So if I want to do continuous, I would hit the continuous button first and then my momentary, and then it'll boost it on continuous. Um, because with the difference between those two, momentary, if you push and hold, it just blinks really quickly. It just gives that one split second of stim. If you do continuous, it'll go until you release the button. It does have a cutoff point of 10 seconds, though, just in case you're pushing it by accident. So. Um, those are some really cool features there. Another thing that you can do is if you put it on zero and you hold down your continuous button for a second, now what's happening is this is called um, instant stim mode, so it's on. As soon as I turn the dial up, it's, uh, it's on and it's activated. So it'll go as high as I go or as low as I go and it's on continuous. So this could be a way where you could find what level your dog feels it on, or if you work with like pressure release techniques, you can ease on the pressure and then ease it off depending on the behavior that your dog is displaying. So that's, um, and then to get out of that, I just hit the continuous button again. So how to get into that, let's say you have your level up here, you just have to turn it all the way down, hit your continuous, you'll see it turns on the I, stands for instant stim mode, and then now that that I is the only thing illuminated in there, then you can change your level and then turn it back down and when you're done you just tap the continuous and now it's off and back to normal functionality. So um, I know this is a lot of information, there's a couple more things I want to share with you, but you can always rewatch the video to review it. So let's say you work with your dog and you find out your dog's level is 7. 7 is a great level for, for your particular dog, they respond perfectly to it um, and I really love this feature. If you go to your program button and you push and hold it for a couple seconds, you'll notice it blinked once and now it's locked. So you can adjust your dial and your levels do not change. This is fantastic for those of us who tend to accidentally bump levels and don't double check before we push the button. Um, you know, if you stick it in your purse or in your pocket or you just happen to bump it with your finger and you don't realize it and all of a sudden your levels are too low or too high and you're training uh, your dog can get confused with that. So I really like the fact that it can lock levels and it's not going to change. Your boost features still work, so if I wanted to do momentary, I could just boost it real quick like that. Or um, to unlock it, let's say I actually needed to make a change, you just hold the program button here for another second, and then you'll notice the 1D stands for one dog. Up top will start flashing, and that shows you that you can change your levels again and then whichever one you choose to stay on you can hit your program button and lock it again. So that's probably one of my favorite features is to lock it because I tend to bump my dial every now and again. Um, 
Another really cool thing, this is just kind of a fun extra feature, your on and off button, if you tap it, your collar has a flashlight. So you can set it to, I just, I call it strobing, I don't know, um, it just flashes every few seconds. This is fantastic for if you go on walks at night, and you want cars to see you, or you know, or if your dog's running around in the field, you can keep track of where it's at. If you tap your on and off button again, then it will stay on solid, which is really cool. And then, so if you had two dogs, you could have one on solid and one on blinking. Um, so that way you could tell the difference at night. And then just to turn it off, you just hit your on off button again, and the light turns off, but your collar is still on. So I um, hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. Uh, it's a lot of features, it's a lot of things to remember, and it can be a little bit intimidating at first, but once you uh, figure out how to operate it, um, it's it's been one of the best tools that I've used because, honestly, the fact that you can lock that level is just awesome. So, um, I hope this was helpful, and have a great time training, guys.